We're about to get new perspective on some of the most extreme objects in the cosmos, black holes or places in space, where the gravitational pull is so strong, even light can't get out. Early this morning, NASA just launched a new X-ray telescope. It went up on a SpaceX rocket from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It's called the Imaging X-ray Polarimetry Explorer. Is that what I was? Polar imagery Explorer? Or anyway, it's the IXPE. The spacecraft usually carries three telescopes. It's designed to observe the polarization of X-rays from extreme objects in space, like black holes and neutron stars. Paul Hertz is here. He's NASA's director of astrophysics. Paul, it's great of you. Uh, what, what can this thing tell us that we, I don't know, don't already know? Well, because we're measuring polarization of X-rays, they come from right down near the black hole. So we can see all the way down to it, place we've never seen before. How do the, what do the X-rays give us that, that, that we couldn't have gotten otherwise? Well, X-rays are only emitted by the most energetic or the hottest places in the universe. So if we want to study those very extreme parts of the universe, near black holes, neutron stars, the remnants of supernova remnants, we have to look at them in the X-rays to really understand them. Where's the excitement? What, what are those who will be doing the observing the most excited about from this launch? Well, it's really about testing our theories and seeing if we understand how nature works. We've seen uh, just X-rays for years, and we want to know how they are created. Now we're going to look down. We're going to compare our theories to what we see. The James Webb Telescope is, a, is set to launch later this month. Everybody in the scientific community has been pumped for that. The two together, what do you hope that the future of space exploration could be? Well, James Webb is a giant infrared telescope, and XB is an X-ray polarization telescope. They can look at the same object but see very different things about them. In galaxies, James Webb can tell us how galaxies form, whereas XB can tell us about those supermassive black holes at their centers. So by taking two parts of the puzzle and putting them together, we'll really understand the whole galaxy. Well, it sounds like fun. I hope it's everything you're dreaming of, and, and we'll, we'll come back to you for results when we get them. Thanks so much. Appreciate it to you and everyone at NASA.